What's happening, Are you ready? Christina? <laughs> so earlier today at the booth, I did her color, and my inspiration was succulents. Um, I find a lot of inspiration in nature. All of my tattoos are nature inspired, and that's where I look for color palettes. So I wanted to do something that had the soft muted tones because Lish was like, "Do whatever you want, girl. You got." free reign and that's like the best thing that's like music to my ears as an artist <laughs> right so I usually don't know exactly what I'm gonna be doing until I'm like in the hair I'm feeling it I'm looking at it I'm looking at the haircut everything about it so I really love how it turned out I'll turn her around so you can see while it's down before I start putting it up but very soft there's about seven different tones in here that we use I'll go over formulas a little bit later but while I was on booth I was asking everyone would you guys like to see a more avant guard or do you want to see something that you would do every day and like on a bridesmaid or something like that and that's what everyone voted for so that's what we're going with here um again kind of succulent inspired and Ooh. I'll let Casey talk about her color real fast while I get started but I got all excited about the succulent <laughs> 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 all right so this is called the bubble technique were you guys here yesterday watching it all anyone yeah so this is the technique that Bottle Blonde and I have been working on for a while. And crazy enough, our first person we did it on was Christina Marie. Yes. So, and we were in Germany, too. We were just, you know, another yes. one of our winging it scenarios. Living okay. our best life internationally. <laughs> we had a great time. All right, so this is what it looks like all applied. I know it looks scary as hell right now, and you guys are like, what is this girl doing? And did she already have happy hour? <laughs> But it's actually going to be really amazing, and it's a really great way to do pastels fast and easy. So let me go ahead and show you the first swipe. I did the first swipe. Second swipe. <laughs> so basically, the cool concept of this is less work. And pastels, we all know pastels, right? They're easier. Let's be honest. Pastels are easier. You don't have to saturate them as much. You don't have to worry about them as much. And that's exactly where this technique comes into play. So I'm going to go ahead with my pink next in our Roy G. Biff format. And swipe on top of that. Big old swipe, a lot of color. Don't be afraid. Slap it on there. I'm going to do it again Slap over on. here. <laughs> All right, so I am doing a pull-through braid. Now, pull-through braids are the bane of my existence because starting uh -huh. them is a pain in the ass. It is, once you get it going, it's fine, but you're going to start with two ponytails right here. You're going to take your top ponytail. You're going to split that in half. You're going to take your bottom. You're going to pull it right over top of those two. I'm going to go ahead and clip that away. And then with these two, I'm going to add and make another ponytail right below it. So I'm going to go ahead and take another section here. So this is just a really simple pull through braid. Um, you know, braiding is definitely a challenge for me with these claws. So I like to do things that are a little bit more simple. I will be doing a French braid too, but let's start with this pull through braid here. So I'm just gonna continue this pull through braid. I'm gonna do really small sections, just kind of bringing it down the head. I wanna take this whole side, I'm gonna bring it over to this bottom corner here. Following up on that about small sections. For this, normally I'm all about big sections. I'm all about like, let's get this done, let's bang it out, I can do it. But for this, small sections is better because we're just laying it on top of it. If you have a huge section, you're gonna get more of that, you know, spottiness. So we don't want that. This really does seem like it leaves like an iridescent vibe. Like even in the color over here where you've already done it, it looks very much like a bubble, right? Like the outside of a bubble when the light hits it. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about where like you blow a bubble and it looks like 97 different colors, but really it's clear, right? Also, <laughs> this is another testament to uh, Paul Bright color. I've had this on here for about four hours. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I overly prep myself because I get this like to be on time. <laughs> so, but it's great. It's conditioning product. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just, it's fine to leave on for as long as you want. Um, after about 45 minutes, it's kind of just not going to do anything more. But I've slept in it before and uh, everything's still going good with me. Well, what's <laughs> great about Paul Bryant is it's, it's a... Uh, Got quinoa in it, so it's protein and moisture. It's a conditioner base, so it's great for the hair. So there's nothing. It's like sleeping in a treatment, right? And it's not going to overprotonize the hair, so it's very healthy. When she goes, when she wakes up in the morning, she can <laughs> rinse it and she's okay. In fact, it's great. And it's also like I know Amanda Harsh talks about when she talks when she talks to her clients, she talks to them about giving them like a, it's like a treatment for them, you know. So there's like a lot of value when they're like sitting there with color, as opposed to the misinformed idea that oh, if they're getting color in their hair, it's damaging, even though this particularly isn't, you know. So it's great to teach the clients what they're getting out of it. Yeah, and um, by the way, for this technique, I know Sam went over yesterday. She did a little bit darker colors than I did even, but pastels is really your best bet for this. Um, 
If you want to do deeper colors, Ruby did, right? Yeah, I think so. Ruby did That's an amazing one with darker colors. You can totally try it. Um, and this is a little different of a look, too, than Sam's because this one has a kind of a little bit of a root in there. If you guys can see, she has a little bit of It's just highlighted, not full. Um, you know, bleach out. So that's really great to show for your clients who don't want to full bleach out all the time or in her sake maybe can't have a bleach out anymore. This is also probably a good gateway thing for our blondes, right? They can try yeah. something super light and delicate. Or if you're me, you can just be like, you're getting rainbow today because... You get a rainbow. Everybody gets a rainbow. Everybody gets a rainbow. But seriously though, everybody gets a rainbow. Anyway, Where are you at, Christina? Okay. <laughs> all right, so now that I've done all my little sections here, I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna pinch and pull and just kinda like, you know, make these nice and big and, you know, voluminous. 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 And will you tell us a little bit about your color palette? I know you said succulent inspired, but like what yeah. did you do to mix that? So the soft tones, you know, that are created, all my custom, you know, all my colors that I usually do on my clients are all custom mixes, which contain about anywhere from two to six colors for just one color in itself. So I try to mix enough so that it goes a long way and I don't have to remix because if I have to remix, I've already forgotten what I mixed in the first place. So each color that you see on this hair is about, you know, like three or four colors within one. Um, using color theory to create muted tones, you wanna use the color wheel. And if I want like a really soft, like I have this mustard yellow in here, I wanted to kind of, you know, make it more mustardy, more um, not as like straight yellow. So what I did was I took our lemon and added lilac to it. So you have your yellow and your purple, and those are gonna go ahead and kind of counteract each other, right? And they're starting to mute the color now. And then I added a little bit of lava, which is gonna add more depth and make it more mustardy. So yeah, that's, that's a great a point. Tip for you guys. That's a great point about that because I know a lot of the hard people have a hard time with um, you know getting lemon and you know firefly like you know it's not bright enough or whatever. Make sure it's actually best to have yellow hair to put on yellow, right? It makes sense. So if the canvas is already really yellow and you want to do yellow, it's going to be better. Sometimes I know a lot of people put um, some like gold toners or and something like that onto the hair first, and that way it really catches if the hair is too light because when it's it's hard to get a little translucent when the hair is white. We want to make sure we have that pigment to hold onto. Right. Yeah, I mean, the idea, if you have warmth in your color palette that you're trying to use, there's no point in removing more of the color, right? You might as well use the canvas and keep the hair healthier. And then you know it's just going to hold longer, right? Absolutely. And so kind of like piggybacking off of that. So when you want to do, like for me personally, when I like to do metallic tones, I do like to tone first. So I'll use our high speed toners with either, um, I'll do silver with a little bit of violet, or now that we have Icy available, which is... Fucking awesome, you guys. It's great. And I am like a blonde orexic, so I'm like, put it on. Just slap <laughs> it on there. Get it on. Great. So Icy is amazing if you haven't tried it already. Um, I mix it one to three. Do you have a question? Yeah. Yeah. So she's asking what base um, Icy is. So Icy is a base of, it's a blue-violet base, which is awesome because if there is some warmth in the hair, kind of the golds, the blue is going to cancel that. So sometimes, like for instance, you know, on Lish's hair, she had baby lights at the top of her roots. They were a little bit golden, and through her ends, she was still really, really light. But putting Icy on it can, you know, it'll take care of all that warmth that's in there too. Absolutely. So I like to do that. I like to tone first with something more icy and more metallic, then put my metallic tones on top of it. So Kelly and I, you know, you, she said earlier she likes to work it into her formulas, and then I like to tone first. So everybody does it a little bit differently, and that's what makes us artists, and I think, you know, it's awesome. You just want to keep in mind, if you are pre-toning before Creative Color, to just always shampoo that toner out, because I know a lot of services, you don't necessarily shampoo the toner, but in this case, you don't want to have a toner, a barrier, before you put the Creative Color, right? Because direct eyes, they sit on top of the cuticle. If there's something else there, they're not going to get the chance to grab onto that you want the way you want in a consistent manner, right? Yeah, me personally, with toners, um, I think it's... <laughs> I'm not going to say overrated because I love our toners specifically and they're great. <laughs> but usually for when you want the brightest colors possible, a toner is just actually kind of making hair a little darker, right? I mean, it's putting pigment on top of the hair. So if you really want those bright, amazing shades, you don't need to tone first. Just like Christina said, for metallics, yes. I would definitely, or like a light pastel purple, something like that, or if that's the look you're going for. But for the brightest possible colors, I like to just go raw dog. <laughs> <laughs> that is officially going That's in our I love annual. Her. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Moments like that with Casey. I love it. <laughs> That's why we hired her. She moved to LA to join our team now. That is why. <laughs> and my hands. There we go. Let bubble look, right? An example of bubbles. Oh this is my girl. This is our finished product. Doesn't she look amazing? Beautiful. And the style by Raina, who's yes. a badass. Yes. 